Hi there. So, once again, like I'm doing sessions and I'm working with people, and I just keep finding more things. And finally, I have some time to make a video about it. So, this video is like for those who might have problems with like relationships or connecting with people. For those that like feel like really lonely and like no matter what you do, you just like can't find a way to connect with people, or you're always alone and you feel like like no one notices me, like everyone ignores me. There's no way I can connect with people and stuff like that. So mainly, I'm bringing this up because, like, as I was working with people, I'm noticing like they, some of them are really craving to connect with others. They're like looking for ways to find a relationship and like where it's like just like a lover or a friend or just someone to talk to. Like everyone needs someone. Like as humans, we tend to live in groups and like at least communicate and all. And so that being said, like I'm working with a person who is really willing to connect. It's all about like love and giving and like trying to bring out the best in others. And I'm like, why does he find it so hard to connect? Why is it so hard for him and all? And as I keep like digging in and like getting out of body and scanning this person, I find that like there's this craving, like you know, like when we feel alone, like oh, like I wish I wish someone was here with me. I wish I could find someone. I wish I could talk to someone. And we constantly wish for one thing or another, but then again, we're not very specific. We're talking about anyone, someone, something, and not really specific about like specific person. Like I want to talk with. Uh, Rich West or Gary V or Mel Robbins or whatever, you know, like you just pick up like my mom Yeah, and you pick anyone in your life that you want or care for or or you like and stuff You just pick a person or you see a person on the street and like I don't know their, their name But you know their looks you know what they're kind of like looking and stuff and you can describe like that person that are right in front of me I want to talk to him. I want to talk to her and so It's kind of easy to describe things in that way but then again, like when, when we're by ourselves, like I just want to find someone that would love me. I want to find someone that would care for me and stuff. And we talk about someone in, gener in generalities, and it is the same thing that opens the doors for the entities and other beings to come into our life. So let's say, you know, when we pray, and God, I just need money. And then you find five, five cents. Yeah, you got five cents. How happy are you? Not really. You really probably don't really care about five cents because you were expecting a million from a lottery or a few hundred bucks or at least five euros or something. Five cents mean nothing, right? For most people. <laughs> so when we pray and ask for things, or when some people pray and ask for things, you know, like, um, again, we need to be specific. I want money. Well, how much? Uh, 500. 500 what? Cents or 100 dollars or what, you know? So we have to be specific for what we ask. Not necessarily money, but thinking like, I want a relationship. Yeah, what kind? Relationship with a teacher? Relationship with a, a bartender? We're just gonna talk for a minute and like there's a relationship there? Or like, you know, like that that girl, that guy, that I, the one that I like. A relationship like this. And you just basically name and you're very specific. That's very important. So again, coming back to the point where we're craving and we're just asking like, oh, like I want to connect with someone. These entities, they will be that someone. And they're gonna come into your field and try to help you. The thing is, they think that they are helping you. They live helping you in a way where they're gonna help you have a relationship with them. They're gonna connect with you. They're gonna give you things. And it doesn't mean it's gonna be good. You know, they're gonna talk to you constantly. So all of a sudden, you have this non-stop chatter in your head. And it can be just you. But it can be you and other entities, or it can be tons of entities and you are the awareness, being aware of tons of voices, thinking it's all you. And now, you know, some people might hear voices, some people might pick up thoughts telepathically, but it's a non-stop chatter. Like, and all of a sudden, these entities, they're going to talk to you, but they're not going to be nice. Most of them are not. And so a lot of our thoughts were, I'm not good enough. Oh, I'm stuck with this. Oh, like I don't look enough. I don't look good enough. Like oh, my teeth are crooked and stuff. All of these bad words about ourselves, like oh, like oh, like I can't do this. All of these doubts and fears and different things, when it comes up, those are entities like trying to like they're not having a relationship with you. They're there to connect with you and stuff, but it's not really good. And they get off on that. So one thing is they stir you up. They're trying to stress you out, cause some negative thoughts and thinking. And all of a sudden, there's non-stop chatter about how bad you are, how you know you're gonna fail at this or that. And all of this is a negative thing, non-stop. So we get that, and we live it. So one thing we attract that by one thing something, and we are not really specific about what it is. Second thing is these entities come in 
and then they start messing with us. And then they start like constantly attacking us 24-7 in lots of ways, like uh, cussing us out, saying how bad we are, or, you know, like, this is the next step. So one thing, like, we attract them, they stir us up and stuff, but then we react, like, oh, yeah, like, I am not good enough. And then you start feeling bad about yourself. So they find a way to gather your luge. They trigger you, now you are reacting, you get emotional about it, you, you don't feel good about it, so you live day by day in this lonely life of, I'm not good enough, I suck, I can't do this. So all this time feeling bad, and these are constantly getting your illusion, negative energy. But now finally, you want to connect with a person, and there she is, there he is, someone to talk to, a friend, a lover, just a random person, but there, there, communication is going on. And all of a sudden, they think you're a weirdo, or they like, you know, like they kind of get close, but at the same time you feel them pushing you away, and they really don't want to connect with you and stuff. Well, that happens because these entities get jealous, <laughs> and that, that's probably one of the worst parts. Because if you've been in jealous relationships, you probably know how. Let's say you have a lover, and like, okay, so here's a guy, and like his girl starts talking to another guy, and all of a sudden, like. The guy's like, hey, come on, like stop, like it's like you, you can like always like flirting or whatever, and when that stuff happens, like stuff happens, it triggers you. Same thing with entities, you know, you invited them, you wanted someone, and all the stuff you've been attracted to them to probably twenty four seven. Like the more you want to go with others, the more you want to have connections, and you're not being specific, you're leaving an open door for them to come into your space. So when they come in, they connect with you on a big level, and when you find someone else to talk to they get jealous. So one thing they can do is attack you, mess with you by you know, like your thoughts, and all of a sudden when you're talking to a person, you feel like, oh, I don't know what to say, you got, all of a sudden get stressed, and like um, like brain fog or whatever, you just like all of a sudden blank, and you show up as not an interesting person. Another thing that can happen is they get jealous, and like the entities get jealous, and the person that you're gonna talk to is being attacked by your entities. So that the entities that you are carrying around and that you invite in your space unknowingly, now as you connect with another person, they're just, hi, how are you doing? And you're just gonna have a conversation. The entities jumps to their, their space and trigger a person. So the person gets these fake thoughts and beliefs and emotions from entities and they feel like, oh, I don't like this person. Like, I don't know, I feel weird about it. And all of a sudden they get these creeped up thoughts and the person you want to talk to kind of like starts leaving and going away, or someone you know you knew for a long time all of a sudden flips and changes and becomes a completely different person, starts ignoring you or different things like that. So these entities, when they are in our space, they mess with people around us. And they try to isolate us because, you know, they're a jealous partner, so to speak. So now they're trying to control the station and leave everyone around us sort of, sort of blocked off. And we have this wall between us and everyone else. And entities are in between the space, where they can talk to us, they can of us, and they are the partner, so to speak. But when we go out and we try to communicate with anyone else, their entities come in and try to make sure that we have no good connections. That they, they're gonna mess up our relationships in one way or another. So, here's the deal, you know, like, it's, it's a long story short, because there's like more details to it all. But, knowing that this can happen, it's important to be very specific about what we want, and like, you know, like, yeah, you want money? how much, and, you know, be specific, like, okay, I want to get 500 euros, cool, in what kind of period of time, and we have to be specific about how we're gonna get it, for example, or, like, you know, how much we want, and, and what we want, and when we want a relationship, okay, I want a guy who would be smart, and this, and this, and this, and this, and we have, let's say, a whole page of values and things, what would be our standards, and what we want, and we have a way easier time attracting it because the entities will not fit those standards and they basically don't fit your like programming of what, how like how can they get in your space so one thing is like being specific about what you want is very important and we want when we want to connect to someone to be with someone who who would you like to be like a human would you like to be with a human or someone that entities can gonna like, connect to and stuff so again important is a thing uh, like Again, like uh, being like specific about what you want, like that's that's an important step. Another thing, okay, let's say you knew, like, oh, damn, I accidentally did all that what she mentioned. Hmm, what can I do about it now? Like, cause okay, I know that I can be specific, but since I have them, what do I do about it now, right? So if you believed, like, oh, okay, I messed up, how do I get those entities out of my space? 
So now, it's important to catch their phrases. Like, how are they talking to you? How are they messing with you? Is there anything specific that they're saying? Are they trying to trigger your fuss or your or something like you're like, oh, I suck, I'm not good enough and stuff. Is it the negative self-talking? Is it some sort of feelings where you start like to get the doubt, to get like kind of fear, like all these negative things? When it comes to connecting with people, where you feel like there's a blockage or a wall, you have to catch specifically what is it, so that you could label these entities. These entities will have different clusters. Some of them will be like let's say a few hundred entities of just pissed off, a few hundred entities of depressed, a few hundred entities of bored. And these entities can be nano-sized, little bubbles, like they don't really have to have a shape or like be creepy and stuff. They can be like, let's say, uh, like uh, nanoparticles, like little atoms, and we can't see it. Don't like, mm, okay, it's there. We, we heard about atoms, but it's not a big deal. And, you know, we live as if, if it's okay. So same thing with entities. They're like, let's say, all around us and everyone has it. Uh, I shouldn't say that, but like, yeah, everyone has it. So anyway, that being said, uh, be specific about like, what is, what... Are some of the things they have and you have to label them because once you start labeling them then you can see what kind of clusters are around your space if you feel doubt is because entities are doubting and let's say you might have a conversation with another person and all of a sudden here comes this kind of fear or like oh i don't know what to say i'm a weird like i don't know like i have i don't have enough experience and stuff and all these doubts and like little weird thoughts the thing is entities don't have enough experience Entities don't know what to say, they get creeped out. And them feeling that stuff, thinking that stuff, you pick it up because you are very empathic, you are intuitive, you have ability to pick it all up. So whatever they're feeling in your space, you can pick it up and now it's you feeling that. So now once you start knowing like how these entities are feeling, like, okay, entity cluster that feels the fear, entity cluster that feels the doubt when I talk to people, and all of a sudden now you have a cluster. And you can talk to it, like, hey, okay, and I think cluster that like doubts, uh, doubts itself when I talk to people, and you can like basically address the cluster, put a label, and talk to it. One thing is you can thank them for their help, because they got in your space one way or another, and it's an easy way if if you're feeling like it. You know, like some people are like, no, 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 I'm not gonna be friendly with those people with those like entities because like they mess with me i'm not gonna be loving or anything like it's it's okay so if you have you can like um talk to them and like since we are like i want this i want this like i want someone to talk to blah blah, blah basically we are inviting someone and someone can be enemies so when they come in their space they think that they're helping most of them are at least so you know when they come you can okay thank you for your help like i appreciate it and Listen, I don't need your help anymore, I'm fine by myself, you can go. And a lot of times, entities need your allowance to be free. And sometimes we start gathering those things up that we think it's part of ourselves, it's part of our personality. So these entities want to be loose, they want to be free, but we are holding on to those fears and those doubts and different things, so we are holding on to the cluster of like beingness and stuff. And we have to give them freedom. Like, okay, yeah, thank you for your help, you're free to go. And this whole cluster of entity is going to feel like doubt or fear, they're going to leave. You felt like it was part of you, and now you're able to release it and let it go. And all of a sudden, you talk to people and like, oh, where did the doubt go? I don't feel more doubt and stuff. So one thing, like, you can talk to the entity cluster, whether it's out loud or in your mind, whichever way is most comfortable for you, that's the important part. And where you hear their voice, or it's telepathic, or you're more like, I don't really pick up anything, but I'm just gonna talk, like, one way, one way talk, whatever, like, monologue, it's, it's okay, like, whichever way you can do it, do it. So, one way is, like, to thank them, and that's okay. Second way, you can cuss them out, like, okay, da -da 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 -da, and basically bitch them out however much you want, but then um, send them off in their merry way. The third one is, like, one of my favorites, just, like, um... Imagine the galactic vacuum. Oh, what is a galactic vacuum? Basically, okay, uh, you're vacuuming your house, right? You have vacuum cleaner. Same thing. So now imagine a vortex of energy that works like a vacuum. And it's going to come in your space and suck out all the entities and agreements and different things that you do not need in your, in your space. So if you have an entity cluster that's messing with you, or let's say it's in your space and messing with other people, or let's say it's in other people's space and they're messing with them or you, you can use the galactic vacuum to suck them out of your space, of people around your space, and all of a sudden you're cleaning off a lot of stuff. And that goes away. One of the best parts uh, is actually going with the whole hierarchy, because a lot of times entities will have a higher up, 
which means most of them are not really messing with us on their own free will. They're being commanded. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to mess with Villa because I'm going to have fun. No. Sometimes I need to like, okay, there's the, let's see, Archon, Reptilian, Mantis, maybe even humans. They're like, you have to mess with this godlike being because I'm going to kill you if you don't. And they're like, oh my god, I don't want to die. Okay, okay, I'll do anything you want. And so they have to mess with us. Otherwise, we're going to lose our lives. So we have to understand them. We have to be the psychologists, the life coaches, do whatever. And we have to consult the entities. And when they're in your space, you're like, okay, who's your boss? Who is your leader? Who's your, like, uh, like who, who, who goes above you? And you might get, like, a little note, like, in your head, like, it's not like you're thinking or anything, but you all of a sudden, like, a word reptilian pops up, a word, like, mantis or tur turtles beings. And the thing what pops up and you focus on that one, it doesn't matter where they are. You simply focus, okay, that one, okay, I got it. And you focus, like, okay, reptilian, and you can use your imagination by blowing them up, you can use the galactic vacuum to suck them all out, or you can simply have a conversation with a reptilian or their heads up saying like, hey, okay, I'm aware of what you're doing to me and our people. I will not allow it no more. The thing is, you are a godlike being. You are a super powerful being. If you know about your abilities, if you know about what you can do, your potential, they are afraid of you. You are a threat to them. And just because they know what we can do, but most of us don't realize, they're trying to trap us as much as possible. Once you start becoming aware of what you can do, of what your abilities are, simply just by imagining things, all of a sudden you blow them all off. They are afraid of us and they stop messing with you. So the more you are aware of what your capabilities are, okay, your visuals, your visuals can do absolutely everything. If you imagine a reptilian becoming a watermelon, if you imagine the tortoise beings or entities becoming a bus, or like whatever, you just like simply like use your creativity and turn them into whatever you want to have a lab. To have like, okay, this massive 20 feet tall reptilian is gonna like, that's trying to kill me, will turn into a little bunny. Boom! And there it is. You can't do anything. And you can pet it now. So they are afraid of us and like which is why we get attacked so once you are aware of your abilities you can simply like hey i know i'm a godlike being if i imagine you being a bunny you're gonna turn into one so you better stop messing with me and go away or i will turn you into bunny and basically you can either give them a little threat of to stop messing with you or else or you can like also try creating a realm for them where they can simply go and all of a sudden they choose a better life that you create for them and they start messing with you. So there's plenty of ways to deal with it, but like, again, if you know about who you are and what your capabilities are, you are powerful and these entities will be afraid to mess with you. So, you know, just like pretty much like read up on who you are. Like, okay, who am I? Human. Okay, no. You're not just human, you're consciousness. And that's so much more. And so with your visuals, you can do a lot. And, you know, creativity, just imagine, like, all the movies you've saw, all the games you might have played, all the animes or whatever books you've read, all the stuff you read and, like, you know, like you get, okay, you can you can do that too. All the superheroes, you you can have their abilities. And, you know, if, if they can use the death ray of their eyes or whatever, you can do that too. So that being said, you know, like, you're a very powerful being, you're loving, you're awesome, and if you get these entities, there's tons of ways to deal with it. And so hopefully... What I say, like, if you have an anxious relationship and you, like, you try to communicate with someone and you feel like there's a massive wall and you are isolated from people, try using that. Try getting rid of entities from your space. Maybe other people around it have it and you can remove entities from their space. And all of a sudden, life will become better. So, here's my video. Here's something, like, I recently noticed, like, regarding relationships and people communicating and stuff. And hopefully, if you try some of these things, it'll help you out. So... Again, thank you for watching, you know, feel free to share your experiences with entities or anything really. And again, like, thank you for being here with me. So see you next time. Bye.